Hey, morning guys. Bit of a sort of impromptu random video today. Uh, I was browsing my local CEX. That's probably about a 20 minute drive away. Um, it's on a quite a busy high street and I just thought I'd have a look and um, I didn't get a chance to pop in the other day. So I had a look, see what games they've got and there's quite a few rare and expensive PS3 games. Some of which I haven't seen in stock ever and others are on eBay for double or triple the price of what CEX are selling it for. So I'm going to go check it out and hopefully um, they're all there but if not let's see if we can grab a couple and add them to the collection. So we've got to King's Heath High Street and I decided to pop into this charity shop. We've got some clothes there and on the shelf I did find this cool Baymax figure. Uh, only £1.50 but it doesn't go for much online. Everything else was just sort of generic tat and the clothing had no real brands uh, and they were all just cheap clothes so I didn't pick anything up. Moving on to CEX then, so we've got some Xbox One games here. Then moving on to the PS4, couldn't see any steelbooks in the Xbox section. Uh, I do find a nice steelbook in a moment, which I did pick up in the last um, video that I made uh, in the game pickups from Birmingham. This is The Last of Us Part 2. This resells for about £40, so I definitely grabbed that one. We've got some more PS4 games. There is a Hitman 2 steelbook, but I already have that in the collection, so I passed on that one. Moving on to the PS3 section, the games in question that I was looking for was World of Outlaws Sprint Cars, Truck Racer and a Cabela's Big Game Hunter. Uh, there was also a Arthur and the Invisibles sort of movie tie-in game. Now all of these were priced at 15, 25, 30 and I believe 55 and I was prepared to pick all of those up for the collection as I need them. Um, but as you can see from the footage, I can't find any of these on the shelf. There was, however, this supercar challenge for £3, which I also needed for the collection, so I picked that up. Unfortunately, there were no more PS3 games on this section that I needed for the collection. I am going for a full UK PAL set of PS3 games, and I do have the rest. However, there are a nice selection of PS3 titles here, and there are a few obscure ones. I'm currently not collecting the more retro games such as N64, boxed Game Boy Advance games or NES or N64 games etc. Uh, however this glass cabinet had some really nice titles. As you can see that Metal Gear Solid there is £145. In future this is something I want to get more of but I would go down the box route. Up next we have some Switch games. Switch is not really something I collect for, I do buy the odd game for it and I do enjoy the Nintendo exclusives. At the moment there's nothing on my radar that I want but it's always nice to have a look. I've also got too many unplayed PS5 games to pick up anymore. Up next we head to another charity shop and I was tempted to pick up this sort of family farm playset. It was only from 2008 though, it did look a lot older originally. The dolphin was a Schleich figure, uh, which can fetch some good money, but that particular one wasn't worth picking up the bundle for, so I did put that one back. Up next we're in Cash Converter, they had a really good selection of games. There wasn't really anything that was priced too cheaply. There was a lot of Wii games that I caught them out on, which you'll see at the end of the video in my pickups. And there was a few steelbooks which I um, had a look at, one of which was this Project Cars 2 steelbook. I did end up purchasing this and this was already sold on eBay for double the value. And this one is an Oddworld steelbook which I do already have in the collection so I passed on that one. There were possibly a few games in here that were underpriced but I didn't really have too much time to look for every single title. I just skimmed over and I didn't really see much. Um, there's a few sort of Nintendo games at the bottom there, but nothing really of note, no sort of Pokemon or Zelda or Mario games, they were all just generic cheap titles. Mm. 
up next i believe this might have been the british heart foundation uh there was a few titles in here which i was looking at it did pick up that sing star bollywood game as that seems to go for around eight pounds on ebay and that was only 50p this copy of wii sports i thought was 50 pence and i took it to the counter and it was actually eight pounds 50 which is a joke So that was an epic fail. Um, I popped in King's Heath into my CEX sort of store finder, checked their stock, found some games that I really wanted, uh, some rare and expensive ones. Came all the way over here, was looking on the shelf, and was like, oh, well, they're gone. And I thought, oh, don't worry, they're rare and expensive, they'll be behind the counter. Looked behind the counter, they weren't there. Looked in the glass cabinets, they weren't there. I asked the guy um, behind the counters, you know, have you seen these games? Have you got these in stock? And he looked and he's like, they're not in stock here. I bloody put the wrong CEX store in, didn't I? It's two and a half hour drive away, so I'm not driving there now. Uh, I did get some other bits. It wasn't a wasted trip, but an absolute fail on my part. There was at least four or five games I wanted and I got really excited that I was going to get them. Uh, got here and they wasn't. Um, so yeah, that was a rather interesting and entertaining little trip. Um, I have got a bag of games though, of course. So uh, I'll show you uh, what I got when I get back home. So I've just got back home. It wasn't a completely wasted trip. I did pick up 11 video games and two items from charity shops to resell on eBay. So the first shop we went to was CEX. Um, I showed you some footage in there. Um, at first, just to add an insult to injury from my uh, from my day that I thought I was going to be getting some good and rare expensive PS3 games, uh, I ended up picking up this one for three quid. Um, it is one I needed, and then I got home and I put Sports Champions in there. Uh, complete waste of time. It's not worth my time or money to go back and swap it. I've put a one pound disc in a three pound game. Uh, not the end of the world, but it's complete incompetency from the staff. And I'm not going to go back there now, and I've just wasted £3, so I'll probably have to find another copy of this game or um, find a disc only on eBay. But again, that, that won't be cheap, because now postage is so expensive, um, I've basically just, just thrown free quid at the wall. Up next, kind of a funny sort of topical um, video game. This one is about four years old, and I did see it when it first came out. It didn't really interest me, um, other than the fact that it looked really childish. Um, but since I've been making YouTube videos, I thought I'd uh, give this a bash. This is um, YouTube life. Oh my god! Um, probably won't play this to be honest, but I'm, but I, I do have intentions of checking it out. Um, it might teach me a thing or two. Might hopefully, how to edit some videos. Um, not really much more to say about that one. Um, it was a cheap game, and I just thought I'd pick it up for a laugh. Um, up next, we've got. Just Cause 4 Steelbook Edition. I already have this in my collection. I've already got a couple of copies on eBay. But um, this one comes pretty much complete with the slipcover, all the DLC stuff inside, and the disc. Um, this is only six quid, so this will be going in my collection. At the moment, I just have a plain Steelbook with no disc inside. Um, so this is obviously an upgrade. I'll be keeping the game and I'll keep the slipcover. Um, so I'll just sell the uh, Steelbook on eBay. So that's not bad for six pounds. Um, the next one is, I actually picked this up the other day as well, so this is my second sort of copy of this in a couple of days now, but this is The Last of Us Part 2 Steelbook, this was £20 in CEX, um, but they sell the normal game for 20 quid. so the Joel and Ellie reverse sort of Steelbook there, um, this was £20 and I'm going to be selling, I've already listed them now, but we've got The Last of Us Part 2 discs, which I'll be selling um, as its own um, listing on eBay, and then the steelbook will be separate. Um, so both of these hopefully should make some profit. Just if anyone's interested, I listed the discs for £14 something, and the steelbook was £34.99. Um, might not go for that much, but the steelbook is, is quite rare and expensive, um, and people do collect The Last of Us stuff, and some of the, the items for The Last of Us are very pricey. Um, so, next one is a different game store, so this was Cash Converters, um, very hit and miss what you get in there, 
but I did manage to pick a few things up. So we've got Project Cars 2 Steelbook. Again, I already have this one, this is to resell. Um, pretty decent condition, there's no slip cover. Um, some of the stickers inside have been used, but it does come with the obviously the game disc, so I'm gonna sell this one just as is um, on PS4. Um, so I've listed that one for about 15 or 16 pounds. Um, this one I don't actually have in my collection. Every time I found this game, it's always in bad condition. Uh, this was 99p, so I thought I'd pick this one up. Um, I was going to sell it, but it's all complete and really nice inside. It's not worth too much. So for 99p, I'm happy to add that one into the collection. The next one is actually was quite um, an interesting find. I found a sealed Wii game in 2023. This was also in cash converters. This is... Uh, Wii Fit Plus, this is the second sort of iteration of the Wii Fit games, um, game only, um, I don't want that big horrible board anywhere near my house, thank you very much, um, but yeah this is um, still sealed, there is a little bit of a tear in it but it's not an expensive game, um, I already have a copy of this sealed to be honest um, from a previous pickup a few years ago, um, which is in my collection so I've listed this on eBay for about £7. It's not worth a great deal, but it's nice to see sealed media in, in 2023, especially when it's, what, 2009, so it's 14 years old. Um, up next, we also, from the same shop, Cash Converters, we've got two copies of Wii Sports Resort. Both of these were 99p as well. All of their Wii games were pretty much 99 pence each. So obviously I picked out the best ones. So um, one is really good. Well, they're both really good condition. One is... Um, the disc is, is mint and the other one the disc has a few scratches um, but both copies have the manuals, paperwork and the uh, points card as well um, so I won't show you both but that both of those are in really good condition and then in a different one I think this is British Home Stores a bit of an interesting one this um, so I found this one for 50 pence I was going to overlook it because SingStar games are always um, not really worth much there's maybe one or two that have a bit of value um, this is one of them. Um, I looked on eBay and this goes for about £8. Um, this is sort of a Bollywood version, so it's quite a sort of, um, you know, probably not one that's sold all that well. Um, hence why it's worth a little bit more. Obviously all of the popular ones with all the popular songs on, those are dirt cheap. You can find them everywhere for 50 pence. Um, so yeah, pick, pick this one up. Um, that one's already listed on eBay. Disc is a bit scratched, but I do have a, dis a disc cleaner, so I can clean that if I need to. Um, but yeah. 50p. Oh, the story with that one. Um, there was a Wii Sports cardboard sleeve for 50 pence. Bought them um, both together, took it to the till, and he, you know, put in his numbers on the till. And he said, "Oh, that's nine pound, please." And I'll, I sort of said nine pound. I said, uh, "I said um, you're joking, aren't you?" And then he looked and he said, "Oh yeah, that one's 50p, and this one's eight pound fifty. They put an eight pound fifty sticker on Wii Sports." Every other game on the shelf was 50p a pound, two pound maximum. So I misread it as, as, as 0.50 pence, and it's actually 8.50. So it was, it was 8 pound 50, and I just said to him, look, sorry to waste your time. I said, because he had to go and get the disc out the back. I said, but I'm not paying 8 pound 50 for that. Um, it's an absolute joke. Like charity shops, I know they have to put their prices up. I know they do their research, and I don't blame them for that. But um, 8 pound 50 for a, for a copy of Wii Sports is, is a joke from a charity shop. Um, so yeah, so I quickly got out of that one. Um, and the next shop I went to, another charity shop, I believe it was an air ambulance shop, so I don't think it was like a like, a, like an old uh, Oxfam um, or anything like that, or Sue Rider, it wasn't a popular one. Um, but in there, I got this for a pound. This is a um, Dora Designs sort of paperweight. They do bigger versions, which are door stops. This one was a pound, it's scented, kind of smells sort of like lavender, um, and you'd literally just put that on your desk on top of a bunch of paperwork. Um, it was one pound, I've listed this for a tenner. Um, I did see one listing when I was in the charity shop for five pound plus postage, and since I've got home I've tried to search it to, to research again when listing, and it had gone, so I don't know if it's sold or if I've just searched the wrong thing. Um, but there was one new with tags for 17 99 so I figured I'd list this for £10, see how I get on. Um, can't really lose from a pound on that one. And then this one's quite an interesting one. I googled the name and it's actually a pub or a restaurant train. Um, but this is Dave and Buster's. So this is like a sock monkey plush. 
um, with the sort of brewer um, or sort of restaurant logo on there. Um, still new with tags, so I would imagine it's some sort of promo item, but this was a pound as well, same as the doorstop. Um, so I've listed this one for 15 plus postage. We'll see how we get on with that. It might not be worth that much, but um, I couldn't find any on eBay. So the good things with items like this is you get to make up your own price. Now, the last item I got was I went back to CEX because the guy didn't give me the receipt. So I needed my receipt for my accounting um, and my ta for tax purposes. Um, so I went back in, asked him for the receipt, and my girlfriend's been nagging me to get this game for, for ages. I had a disc copy last year, a um, disc only copy, which I sold um, for £42 on eBay. Um, but I don't have like a complete in box or anything. Um, and obviously the disc is sold, so we don't have the game anymore. She used to play this when she was younger. We have the first one on the PS2, and if you haven't guessed, it's Manhunt 2. Now this was £58 in CEX, which is more than I would like to have paid. Um, you know, I'm still banking on finding this in the wild at a car boot or a chariot shop uh, for cheap. But this was 58 quid, and on eBay it sells for about £70. Um, obviously I know it goes for quite a lot because I sold the disc only copy. Um, but inside it was per perfect, this was behind the, the counter. Um, the manual hasn't got a crease in it and the disc doesn't have a scratch on it. Um, really, really nice condition copy. So I thought £58, um, we can play it, uh, shut the misses up for a bit, and then if I ever want to sell it afterwards, I should be able to at least get my money back and hopefully make a bit of profit on it. So that's all my pickups. Um, bit of annoyance, obviously, I didn't get to get the games I wanted to get, but um, I made a trip out of it, and uh, yeah, I've got a good stack of games ready to sort of sell some of them. Um, most of them are listed, and I've got a couple to add to my collection as well. So, um, not all that bad. So yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.